Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From the Divine Tarot. We are Sunday, August 4th, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you. As you know, it is a timeless read. I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, because it's all energy anyways. So if this is your reading, you will know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head. No other reason. So if you have to switch the genders and the roles throughout the read, that is not a problem. Just remember, it is a general collective reading. It is not a personalized reading. There's thousands of people here with thousands of different energies. Uh, not every read is going to be for you, right? And even if you think it is your read, please use your higher wisdom and discernment. Chances are that certain parts of the read won't resonate with you. And that simply means it belongs to someone else, okay? I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the card as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It can be all the descriptions, some one end or none. And then we bring it together at the end. And I'm so grateful that you guys are here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the love and support you show me. I truly love you guys. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend. It's a long weekend for us here in Canada. It's a civic holiday, though. So it's not a statutory holiday. So not everything's closed. But hopefully if you do have a long weekend this weekend, it's a beautiful one. Let's see what Spirit wants to talk about, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels. Oh, that came out quick. Material and spiritual prosperity in reverse. Six. Lovers in reverse in tarot. You're parting ways with a karmic or karmics or karmic situation. It was all one-sided anyways. You know, I've often spoken about that. If you have a relationship, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship with people. But it's always one-sided. You're doing the, po the phone calls. You're texting them. You're checking in on them. You're always there when they call, but they're never there when you call. Um... They're uninterested in what's going on in your world. They put you last. Well, that means that you're in a relationship by yourself. You're carrying this relationship by yourself. It could also be false contracts. It's all one-sided for someone to gain over you. Poor decision-making. They're getting some consequences. Somebody's not coming into the material or spiritual prosperity. Okay, there's consequences. Lovers is always, it's not always been about lovers. It's been about choices and consequences. No matter if it's in the upright or in the reverse, whatever you choose to do, or however it turns out, someone's going to be upset. They're going to get hurt. Um, there's always somebody that's going to be upset with your choice. You can't avoid that. That's part of life, right? That's the overarching energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the solar plexus chakra. Let's keep coming out this week. And that's three in reverse. That's the Empress in reverse. Somebody wanted power and control. It could be a doppelganger as well. <clears throat> Somebody tried to devalue you or you gave too much of yourself to a situation and you were placed last. You know what I mean? Um, no shade. I've done that too. I've learned. So this could be a doppelganger. This could be a power of attorney wanting power and control over you, taking away your power, taking away your rights. It could be just somebody that's very chaotic, toxic, and karmic, jealous, you know, greedy, selfish, controlling, possessive, promiscuous. It's just chaos, okay? We have transformation. Somebody's resisting change. <clears throat> it's death in reverse. They can't change something or someone won't change. They kept doing something over and over again. Solar plexus chakra, by the way, um, they're trying to affect your willpower and your strength. They don't have any, okay? Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um... You're very strong, by the way. They're trying to affect your solar plexus. I don't know. It's not working. Okay, whatever this is, whatever they tried to do, it's a permanent, profound ending for someone. They can't overcome something. Yeah, they're working in the shadows here. A lot of lies, illusions, fear, trying to make you scared, trying to make you feel weak. Um, much is hidden here. But you're also, somebody could be in their emotions right now. But uh, you're also highly intuitive as well. Suffering in silence, nine. It could be an investigation. This is the hermit. Somebody could be, you could be alone. You could be isolated. You went within and did that soul work. You have a direct connection with source. And you're highly, you have high wisdom here. Um, she's looking right at the sun. So you take your cues and your orders from God. You're very obedient. This could be an investigation here. Somebody is shining a light on the truth. Or it's been shined someone shined a light on the dark here i mean the light will always overtake the dark no no problem okay going within finding something out an investigation yeah you're highly aware here you're you have a direct connection with source this is a magician in the upright your your crown chakra is lit you have a direct connection with source you're co-creating with the divine right as above so below 
Like I said, you're very obedient. You're manifesting something new. You're consciously aware of what has been going on, maybe more so than people are involved, okay? Um, you're being directed by the divine. You have all the tools you need for success. You're very resourceful. And you're very creative, and you're focused. And this is a yes card. It's, it means success, okay? So you're going to be taking some action. Because, yeah. You're consciously aware that somebody was doing something over and over again and did not want to learn a lesson. This is um, unfinished business as well. Something's coming back to bite somebody in the ass. You could be online and they're trying to block you. No, they want you offline or they don't want this coming out into the open, whatever they were doing. They don't want you traveling. They don't want you moving on. They have no protection or they don't want to move. I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. Their life is upside down. Material, spiritual prosperity, six of me first. So it's parting of ways with dubious people. Material and spiritual, uh, material, material and spiritual prosperity, six in reverse. Clarify this for me, please, for the collective. Objectivity, stay, remain objective. Okay. Justice is here. So, if you're dealing with anything with courts or any kind of adjudication, mediation. You're, you're getting a, a judge and or a adjudicator that's very, very objective, very fair. You're coming into your justice. Congratulations. Yep, conflict here. There's a lot of conflict. Somebody's scared. Somebody's a leader or you could be a leader. It reminds me of prison stripes. So somebody that's ahead, ahead of something might be going to jail. Somebody failed to take leadership in a situation. Yeah, they're scared. What I tell you? They are scared because you are innocent. Whatever they accuse you of, if it's criminal, if it's civil, if it's the, the court of public opinion, whatever this is, you're innocent. Yeah, somebody's expecting to take your chair or somebody's expected to leave. Take your throne, okay? Yeah, something to do with a home. Property, business. Or you feel like home or somebody that you deal with at home but there's a, a magnifying glass here so somebody's really really looking at things clear oh it's a spoon that was a magnifying glass that's a spoon either or somebody you used to spoon with i don't know that I, that definitely could be a, a magnifying glass i don't know somebody got a good look at something here you're a loving kind of person or somebody that you that loves you or you you love them you're a very loving person. Oh, they're doing love spells on you. Damn. Why? Or they did love spells upon a judge or a mediator of some sort to get their way using witchcraft. Yeah, that's never going to work, okay? I want to be leader. I want to win. But they can't win on their own merits, whatever this is, right? Whether it's a beauty pageant, whether it's a cook, a, a bake-off, a cook-off. They can't win with their, you know, just being themselves. So they have to go this route. Okay, I get it. I get it. What's that say about this? these people or this person? Hmm? You're a loser. If you have to resort to magic to soften people up to your energy... What's that say about you? Loser, loser. You're a loser to begin with. Oh, I'm going to get the trolls coming after me because that's exactly who's doing it, right? So we have material and um, spiritual prosperity and reverse six, objectivity and justice. You could be a judge, you know, along in your bloodline, like Samson. You can call judgment on people. Okay. Material, spiritual prosperity, six of reverse, objectivity, justice. Why is this here? Please help me understand where we're going with this read, please, Spirit. Jackpots, the inheritance again, for fuck's sakes. Or life insurance, or generational wealth, or a, I don't know, a pension. Ticket for whatever it is. It's all about money. Getting rich. Happiness hater. 
Somebody's creeping, okay? Somebody is a creep, by the way. I can feel their energy sometimes. They're disgusting. Scarcity tactics. So they figured um, if they dry up your money, you'd be more um, amenable to signing their bullshit contract and getting very little compared to what they're getting. It's your money, okay? They tried, they wanted to be king and queen, held king and queen. They were playing fucking games. Yeah, I think they're losing money here. It's a big waste of time. Stock, no changes, and limited. It, you've ignored this, okay? Ignore it all. Let the divine work in the background. And he is working in the background. That, that reminds me of <clears throat> some people saying, you know, my whole life I've been mistreated. This I'm waiting for justice my whole life, blah, blah, blah. Well, I can't speak for your situation. I don't know your situation. I don't know you, okay? But you have to take inventory of your life. You might have to get rid of people that mean you know well, uh, no good, okay? It, for whatever justice you want, they have to be out of your life. Or you have to, if you have addictions, if you have a, a poor outlook in life, okay? I don't know what your story is, okay? And I, you're going to have to turn to the divine. Ask him for guidance. Ask the angels for guidance. What do you need to do to be in alignment with your justice, okay? You need to do some work. You have to meet them halfway to get what it is that you want. That's if you're in alignment for it, okay? Maybe you're not. I don't know. I don't want to burst anybody's bubbles, but I don't want to give you false hope either, okay? So material and spiritual prosperity, six in reverse, objectivity, justice, and jackpot. They were doing magic, but I tell you, to gain money, to win. Yeah, it's all about winning, but that's all coming out in the end. Dear. 19, that's the sun, okay? So these are getting exposed, illuminated. The light is being shined on this person. Because you did the work. You elevated and ascended, okay? There was a lot of hardship in your life. See that mountain? Okay? It's all about winning. Ah. So if you got to do magic on people to win, what's that say about you? You're a loser. Yeah, you remain calm. Zen. You take care of you. That's what the divine said to me. Take care of you. Do what you must do to improve your health, your home, uh, your business. Concentrate on your hobbies, you know. Um, concentrate on your creativity. That's why we often say get a hobby because through that creativity, you create, you manifest. Don't sit on your laurels, sit on your ass and wonder, when's it going to drop into my lap? It's not going to happen that way. If you want a new job, you have to get out there and look. If you want a new relationship, you have to get out there and look. Meet people, not online. I don't recommend that. Some people do. and some people, You have to get to know the persons, okay? Slowly. Because nowadays there's so many false faces, it's not even funny, okay? A lot of soulless beings are walking this earth. Yet yeah, wearing masks, right? Yeah. They want to be you. Okay, let's start this read. What deck? Thank you. Material, spiritual prosperity, six in reverse, objectivity, justice, jackpot, and right. Number 18. A lot of lies, illusions, a lot of cis hidden in the dark. Okay, they are scared now. If you're in service too, I just saw old stinky pop his head out. Oh yeah. He's behind it all. He always is. He's going to go slink and run away. He doesn't like coming out in the open. <laughs> a lot of co codependency issues here. Okay. Somebody's obsessed. And they are bound to the devil, bound to some sort of contract that they have to deliver. You're bound to the devil, you're done, okay? You're done for. You have to produce something, and if you don't, wow, well, he's going to take your, his pound of flesh, I'll tell you that much, okay? And everything else. So you don't truck with him, okay? You ignore him. Let him go slink under a rock. What's the message, please, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light light? I'm so grateful that you're here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Archangel Michael's here. He says hello. Sends his love. Thank you. <laughs> First, bottom of the deck, star. Wish fulfillment. They could be praying right now, which is really, really weird. I know. Somebody could have called you, nicknamed you Jugs, or somebody that's nicknamed Jugs or something. 
If you're out in the public eye, wishes have been granted. You're divinely protected and guided. You have divinity here. You could be on your north node as well. You're being seen for who you are. Congratulations. You're a healer. You're balanced, okay? You're very faithful. You could be praying, like I said. That's an oxymoron here. Yeah. Wow. They were praying for you to go. <laughs> Just the fact that you breathe annoys them. Can you believe that, praying for somebody to go? This is change. You overcame everything, okay? Phoenix is rising. That's the overarching energy, or they might be going. They're being baptized by fire right now. That's the white rose, what it means, okay? It's definite change. And we have the bottom of the deck. They bore false witness against you. They're in debt to the devil, like I said. I just heard an eye for an eye. So if you purport, if, if you subscribe to that kind of theory, well, that's what's happening in this person's life. I don't subscribe to it personally, but whatever. Somebody's in debt. They bore false witness. They perjured themselves against you. Somebody could have lost a child. My condolences. They didn't do their homework. Didn't want to. So if they did any spell work, if it's a practitioner or even these people, they didn't look into you. They didn't know who the fuck you were. There's no new beginnings. They didn't did not take a practical approach. They don't want to pay. They don't want to pay. Okay. They paid. They got bribed to perjure themselves against you to bear false witness. They could have said you had multiple partners. Doesn't have to be. It could be somebody that did have multiple partners that you were dealing with. Seven of Cups. There's a lot of illusions and confusion here. Hopeful, wishful thinking. They got promised all kinds of shit to do whatever it was that they did. But this is bribery, temptation, cover up. They wanted you left out, alone, rejected. Somebody's having an emotional outburst. Somebody could have lost a child, you know? They didn't want you having a new beginning. Somebody's very emotionally manipulative, immature, and insincere. Page of Pentacles. You don't pay, what's going to happen? Maybe they're wondering right now. There's a lot of confusion. How the hell did you get through this? Death and... Okay, here we go. Yeah, you healed your own heart. Um, they were very very emotionally, mentally, verbally, and or psychologically abusive. Okay, they were talking a lot of crap about you. See, this could be a higher level soulmate that did this to you, a twin of some sort. Because these swans are monogamous and they're very protected by the crown by, you know, the royal family. Um, and there's only one swan here. You know, I, I look at swans like divine beings. You healed your own heart by yourself. This is um, a blessing in disguise, believe it or not. Yeah, this was a poor investment. They didn't want anybody investing in you. They didn't invest in you. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Didn't think there was any... Um, evidence to prove that they were doing stuff behind your back they didn't nurture this you know they they didn't plant the seed they didn't nurture this investment but yet they want to harvest from you well they're not going to seven of pentacles you get what you give with that it's the end of the road they can't go any further they've lost a lot of money doing this they might have to relocate they could have sent a lot of chaos and confusion spells to you or somebody in the court system and somebody could have had a heart attack. And now they're losing the, everything. They could be paying, like I said, this is the same story. They were paying off a judge of some sort or blackmailing a judge. And somebody had a heart attack behind the wheel. Had a car accident. Now they're grieving and regretting now. They're grieving and regretting what they lost. Not this connection. They could be far from home. Exiled. Kicked out of office. Business. A home. A family. Or a group. Okay. Very disappointing. If it's a, some sort of a leader, they were supposed to bridge the gap. You know, be a bridge between peoples to come to a, um, a resolution, and they did not. It has something to do with property, homes, business, or stability. Institutions. Something long-standing might be coming down. Some sort of institution or organization or foundation. Yeah, somebody did something too quickly here. Not a wands. Very impulsive. Didn't think before they acted. Knee-jerk reactions. Somebody could have been a player, you know. 
playing around. Somebody now has to take some action. Yeah, this is foolhardy. This is foolish, reckless, careless behavior. No new beginnings. They didn't want you to have a new beginning. They thought you were naive or gullible. No new beginnings. They can't move forward with something. Why is the fool hand in reverse? They try to make you look guilty of something and you're not. Somebody was very disloyal with the dog in reverse, okay? They weren't paying attention to what they were doing. They went right over the edge. Oui, come back here. Me, hey, come back here. I'll pop it back in. Matter wands in the upright, pool in reverse. What where are we going with this? Five of cups in the upright. Oh jeez. Put it back in. Come on. Sorry, it's my fault. Every all errors are mine. Not spirit, that's for sure. Five of cups in the upright, nine of wands in the upright, pool in the reverse. They're in their emotions. They thought you were gullible because you're kind your kindness. You're very kind and loving, unconditional love. Right? You're very peaceful, very gentle with these people or this person. But you love yourself first, right? Charity begins at home. You're going into your wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment and support here. They're in their emotions. They didn't want you having a new beginning in love. They didn't want to love you. I just heard, ooh, you're very loved here. You could be out in the open. You know, you could be out in the public eye. They're emotional. Maybe they said something on public record about you. You're gaining some attention here. People are cheering you on. Six of Wands. This is victory, success, reward, recognition. Yeah, no. This is somebody that wanted attention. They were greedy and selfish. They were jealous of you. They said something on public record. They're scared now. They're in their emotions. Somebody that you loved or they love you now. They, they realize there's no new chance. No new beginnings in love now because of what they've done. Some of us very greedy, materialistic, and jealous of you. Unfaithful. Can be trusted, unreliable. Um, they're materialistic, where they need to, you know, to to, to wear brand names. Um, they want to show off. Uh, you know, this type of person that always takes selfies and or looks at themselves in the mirror. Um, you know, no shade for those who do. I'm just saying. I'm giving an example. It's all about them and their public image. They're trying to make you unstable or look unstable. Somebody didn't have. No, they didn't see your worth maybe at one point. Other people see your worth. That's their problem. You thought that your kindness was weakness. That you'd always be there. You're a pushover. Something's coming out publicly though. Or they said all kinds of things about you on public record. They bore false witness, right? They tried to put you into debt possibly with the page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're going to jail. They're stuck. They're feeling trapped. Too many obstacles to overcome. They're jealous of you. One track mind. They kept re uh, restricting you somehow to show that they're powerful, that they're better. It's all pride and ego here. I'm trying to shut you up. They don't want you talking. Well, that's just too bad. You're too strong for them. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty, and they don't. They were lustful. They were greedy. They were um, prideful, egotistical, wanting power and control, dom domination or dominion over you. That's just too bad. Yeah, a lot of the moon, the moon, a lot of lies and illusions. Working, somebody. Sorry about the back, background noise. Somebody had power, and they were working in the background against you with people, wearing masks. A lot of illusions here. You have strong intuition, though. You knew that they were stealing money or trying to stop your money. Or they wanted you to miss an opportunity, okay? But they're in debt. They wanted you in debt. Yeah, this is fucking... Sp they spent all this money on spell work or on whores. Wow. Greedy, greedy guts. Greedy guts. They're holding back. Very. S okay, you could have been dealing with somebody that was very greedy and stingy with you. Meanwhile, they're spending all this money on magic. Spending all this money on whores or black magic, okay? Somebody's very jealous and angry. Queen of Wands in reverse. They use sex to get their way. Yeah, they're greedy. They're selfish. Mine, 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 mine. Somebody's trying to protect themselves. They don't want to let go of whatever monies this is. Okay? They didn't let go of this money. They were jealous. Somebody's got a huge ego. They don't want to let go of this money. 
they didn't want you to be stable and secure because they were going around maybe saying that you are a streetwalker, an ex, um, what do you call it, an escort, uh, that, that you're doing magic and you're not. They're doing magic to protect themselves right now. They're running out of money though. Sorry. You have the Queen of Wands in reverse. They could have married a streetwalker, got a streetwalker to impersonate you. No shade, I'm just saying. But if you're trying to defame somebody by using that, I got a problem with that. Trying to mar some... Ah, sideways. Trying to screw up somebody's um, good character. Yeah. They're, they were holding back from you. Queen of Wands in reverse. Four Pentacles in the upright. Yeah, they scapegoated you. This is a family or a group that's going down. Somebody's not happy. It's not a happily ever after here. This could be the fake marriage. They married a streetwalker or escort and claimed it was you. Doctored photos or film or something. Your family's behind it. Yeah, this, they wanted to embarrass and disgrace you. Five of Swords in reverse. But you let this go. You know who you are. You know who you're not. They had a grudge against you. They're gold diggers and cloud chasers. And now there's change. The Wheel of Fortune here. They may, may have wanted your destiny. And uh, how's that going to happen, smarty pants? Huh? How you going to do that? When you're going up against God, this is what he's ordained. You think you're going to change his mind? Get a clue. Get a life. Get a hobby. There's change here. This is divine timing. Yeah, you turned your back on them. Um, they were plotting and planning with this Queen of Wands in reverse to defra uh, defraud you, steal. Okay? They breadcrumbed you, used and abused you. This was unfair. Okay? This was not kind. This was not fair. was not balanced. Something's out of balance right now. They're in debt. They wanted you in debt. This was fraud and theft. This corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. Somebody wanted power and control over you. Okay? They had no authority to do what they did here. They're going to have to pay this back. Somebody in an authoritative position that's just wanting power and control is a big ego, arrogance, right? Conceit, a crooked leader. They lost their, uh, their authority. It's all about their image and what money can buy and what's hanging off their arm or what they own. They bent to public pressure. They abused their power and their authority. And they can't escape this. They can't move on, okay? They're in hot water, or they didn't want you to move. If there's any monies in offshore accounts, I was picking that up yesterday. It's all lies. They can't access this money anymore. So there's been no communication. It's bad news. There's nothing but lies. They threw rocks and hit hands, okay? They felt entitled to do so. They caused a lot of drama in your world and other people's worlds. They were very infantile. Bored, okay? They have nothing good going for them. They are un These people are unexciting. They're not exciting. They have nothing good going in their life. They, they're not creative. You know, you have to entertain these people. They need outside validation. That's the type of people you're dealing with, right? Yeah, this was unfair. If they tried to make you look unstable here. Um, they're boring from Peter to pay Paul. They're in debt. They can't play games anymore. There's no no options here. They're out of options. And they're possibly drinking and in their emotions right now. Somebody dropped the ball on this one. Maybe it's a youth that's it going through puberty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, somebody doesn't see this coming. They're acting like a victim. You're ignoring them. They're indecisive, mental conflict. They try to make you destabilize you. They try to make you look like you're mentally conflicted. But they don't see what's coming. They don't know what to do now. They don't see what's coming. They're getting caught. They have to come clean. Somebody's a liar, a narcissist, a sociopath, a psychopath, very abusive, pathological liar, a user, abuser, cold calculating, and cruel. Liar, liar, pencil, fire. They can't prey upon people any longer. I think the prey is now... They were preying on people, but I think they're now being preyed upon by spirit. 
they can't get away from this, okay? They thought they were a seven of swords in the upright. They thought they'd get away with this, no problem, that they strategically planned this out. They thought they were very smart, right? The king of swords in the upright is a very smart individual, male or female. Not very smart here, okay? They gave themselves way too much credit where their intelligence is concerned, okay? Where are we going with this, please? True. Spirit says true. This is truth and clarity. This is a breakthrough. They wanted your crown. They tried to affect your crown. Truth. This is yes to. Okay, this is a yes card as well. This is truth. You, this is illumination. They've been exposed. Truth and clarity. Um, if they try to say you were crazy or you had some sort of disease or dying or something like that or you're gone, you're happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, you're going to be very healthy. The truth is coming out. They could have, if this is the, the inheritance, I mean, they threw everything they could. They, they got a big pile of shit, threw it against the wall to see what would stick. They could have even went to the extent of saying that you are not blood related to the rest of them. Well, that showed up to be a lie. It was just a scam. Okay, they were using magic. They sent you a love bomber to, to try to deval uh, devalue you. Yeah, but destabilize you. Okay, tried to see yeah, this place coming through. Um, they didn't want anybody supporting you. This was a crime, okay? Truth and clarity. They're doing the spell work. This was a, um, a love bomber coming after you. They sent towards you to destabilize you. Yeah, you're speaking your truth. Or somebody else's, male or female. Okay, it could be law and order. It could be a doctor. It could be anybody. Speaking true. You're set in boundaries, you cut them out. You're very discerning, astute, intelligent, wise, and intuitive. And you're very blunt. You're not going to hold back. You're going to speak your truth. The clouds are not down. They're down here. They're not around her head, okay? She hates wearing this crown for a reason because she has experience. I say she, but it could be a he. Higher perception here. She'll hear you out. But it's like, okay, where's my money? Where'd the money go? What are you going to do about it? Yeah, there's a leader of some sort. Queen of Swords and King of Wands in the upright. Could be lawyers that got involved. Uh, obviously, there are crooked lawyers here. Their wish fulfillment is to steal this inheritance. Okay, they were very greedy and selfish. This is supposed to be leaders in your community or pillars of society or in an organization, institution. You can be a leader, though. Okay, you do the, the right thing. Or this is a new judge. Oh, thank you very much. It could be a new judge that stepped in because the old judge is no longer there that was getting yeah they they tried to <gasps> they were doing spell work on the new judge maybe tried to offer them you know tempt them in other ways this is all coming to light and she she sat them down real quick because she's a, a leader i say she could be he uh very the honor they have a lot of honor morals and ethics and they do the noble thing they swore an allegiance that's their job right they protect and defend. They're very creative and bold. They're not afraid, okay? That's what their job is. Wish fulfillment. That was your wish fulfillment. Somebody stepping in for you. They know that these people were selfish and greedy. This person, higher ranking person, is quite satisfied that this group is trying to steal your inheritance. It's, fa it's family discord. They, they partnered up with whom? They partnered up with other people to do this. And now they're really, really worried. Because they're going to have to show up somewhere, probably back in court court setting or, to, I don't know, police stations or something. I don't know. They're going to be called back here and getting arrested. They're afraid they're going to get arrested here. It's illumination. You let go and let go. There's no more time to waste. No more delays. Now they're acting like the martyrs that they are not. Okay? this The, the victims that they are not. Okay? They're crying, they're worried, they can't eat or sleep, they're stressed, they're anxious. Now they want to co compromise and cooperate. Oh, isn't that lovely? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Somebody's got to let this go. Somebody's letting this go. You're not stuck, you're not struggling. Or somebody's not struggling with this outcome, okay? The judge, yeah? They wanted a life of luxury off your back. This was a, a financial crime unfair, 
unbalanced. So he was codependent, clingy, very, very greedy and selfish, very insecure, unstable. They wanted you unstable. And now they're drinking, possibly in their emotions. They can't contain their emotions. They were ruthless. They were malicious and cruel, emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable and immature. They didn't care. Self-absorbed, self-centered. It was them, 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 them. Potentially dangerous as well. Sexually dangerous. Yeah, they're trying to hide this, right? They didn't want anybody to know. They don't want to be investigated. They don't want to be scrutinized. Hiding and cloaking a lot. They're going to act like, oh, I wasn't aware of what was going on. Was there a crime being done here? <laughs> yeah, trying to hide and cloak. They were celebrating this. King of Cups reverse, Hermit reverse. Where are we going? Let's end this place, Spirit. Hey, come back here. That flew right up. My arm. Isn't that... Huh? So, the long arm of the law. Does that make sense? Is that how they say it? Well, there's a lot of professionals. They're going to be sinking here. Institutions, professionals, brokerages, realtors, banks courts you got a lot of burdens on their backs because they burdened you trying to prove a point you're sleeping nicely you're healed you're healthy you're you're at peace <laughs> somebody could be sleeping with a, a weapon next to them i don't know but they're contemplating they're praying they're strategizing they know they need to put this to rest okay this is the police coming in something fast fast action fast communication somebody's angry possibly but there's sort of truth here um, somebody's plowing through no, no matter what. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. They're trying to avoid a tower moment by coming back. Somebody's going to have to take on this loss. Okay. Someone's refusing to move on from this bad investment. They have to return it. They want to make, make nice. They want to put a, a truce here. They have to balance something out. You're happy. You're divinely protected and guided. This is going to be fair for you, okay? What they did to you was unfair. You're an earth angel, or you're divinely guided by the angels here, okay? You transmuted everything they did to you. So whomever is, is doing what on your side, they're going to make sure that this is fair, okay? You've been patient, okay? You've had to wait a long time. You transmuted everything. They threw you away. And you handled yourself righteously. Not that you're an angel. Well, you know, I mean, you're not a saint. You do, you know, but you handled it well, okay? You're happy, healthy, wealthy, wise. You could be a healer. Now they want to reconcile. Come back here. Yeah, this is justice. Thank you. You made the right choices. You've elevated. Somebody's deciding on this right now. It could be something to do with a contract as well. Um, whoever, whoever this is, okay? This was a, a farce. A third party got involved. This could be a third-party um, authority figures. Like here in Canada, it's the RCMP that stepped in. In the States, it would be the FBI. In the UK, I, I'm pretty sure it would be Scotland Yard. You know what I mean? Depending on where you live, right? So a third party had to step in. It could be also somebody that oversees or, you know, like some sort of oversight for the, the courts or something like that had to step in. They made a decision here. You've, you've ascended. You're ascending in life. You've made the, all the right choices here. Yep, they've been investigated, okay? They're under surveillance. They're watching you online as well, okay? Or watching them online because that's fraud, okay? Wire fraud. This is delayed communication from afar. Somebody was trying to impersonate you, for sure. This is toxic, karmic. Uh, they wanted a power of attorney over you, which was illegal. They collaborated to do this. Somebody's helping you here. Okay, they know that they devalued you. They're, this is a forensics team, whether it's financial forensics, um, having to do with the finances and the shares, if there's any kind of shares involved, life insurance, contracts. This, this is a forensics team. Could be also um, IT forensics as well. Yeah, okay. Somebody's on your side here, okay? 
you're strong. You're standing strong here. You're creating something beautiful. This is not a creator, by the way. It's in reverse. They could have tried to say, plagiarize your work. I don't know. But there was collaboration online or some sort of contract online. You're innocent. You, you're going to have a new beginning here. Some third party online that was doing this. This conscious awareness. You have all the tools you need. Yeah, people are consciously aware. They see your value and your worth. You know your value and your worth, okay? They were doing this over and over again, trying to get you offline or something like that because if they said you were crazy, you were sick, you were dead, and if you do have a, any kind of online presence, it doesn't have to be a channel or a podcast or anything like that. It could be any kind of way, and you're there every day. How do you explain that? Speaking, typing, posting. How do you explain that? Right? They can't take advantage of you anymore, and they know it. Okay, they know that you're covered by God, okay, in his armor. As above, so below. This is success for you. Yep, this was a, a betrayal. It's going to be a harsh and painful end for these people. It's, a, a cycle's ended. Someone's taking, uh, taking uh, seizing an opportunity to put an end to this. Yeah, Queen of Cups Reverse. Somebody lied about you. They wanted to be you. This is somebody that's very karmic, drinking in their fields. But the funny thing is, is the they emotionally manipulate people with emotions, right? They blackmail people. It could be a bit bad parent or somebody called you a bad parent, but I think mm, it's all bullshit. Yeah, they judged you harshly. They don't want to be judged harshly. They're going to be judged harshly. They made some poor decisions here. Now they're crying, Latin and ball, 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 and possibly in their, in their cups. They don't care who they hurt. If they come towards you and they, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. They meant it. They're being judged harshly. Lack of awareness, lack of acceptance, and lack of accountability. There's no second chances here, okay? This is karma. A judgment went against them. Yep. They, they try to judge you, maybe a high priest or high priestess. There's a lot of lies and secrets here. They're highly intuitive and you're very wise. And they were playing mind games with you and gaslighting you. And now they're all fighting and finger pointing and blaming one another. You shrugged it off like water off a dog's back. They don't want to be challenged now. Maybe they're fighting with their own, you know what I mean? That's why I said they're fighting, figure pointing, blaming one another. Who's going to take the rap for this? Right? You got your orders. You didn't say much, but you observed. You have a direct connection with source. You're balanced between your dark and light, masculine and feminine. Yeah. They didn't want you working online as a, or somebody lost their job. Take it for whatever it is. Somebody's not a master of their craft. Oh, I see. Thank you. They went around saying that they are a practitioner, uh, either uh, an intuitive or psychic and or a, a good white witch, whatever. And they're not. Okay. It's a lie. Whatever they did, it didn't work or they're going to lose their job. Okay. They've been doing bad magic on people. <laughs> I mean, magic is bad, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is, ooh, they were jealous. This is somebody that's losing a lot of money. Somebody that throws money around and the weight around. They're very um, high on themselves. This is somebody else that's in the picture here. Somebody's jealous. A bully. Egomaniac, I just heard. Wow. Yeah, take an action. You have new passionate opportunities. There's somebody we're having sex with. I don't know. This is growth expansion. Yeah, somebody's taking action here. This is police coming through. Bringing back balance, okay? You overcame everything. You have a new beginning starting right now, okay? So you're innocent. This is your family involved. Your family's going to be out in the cold here, going towards poverty, lack, and loss. They didn't care if you went towards it, though, right? When they stole this money or tried to. This was a big ding to somebody's um, confidence level. This is going on for a long time. They might want to come and give you a little gift to get into your energy, but you let them go. They better give up here, okay? Because they can't block you. You're out in the public eye. They People see that you have integrity, loyalty, and honesty, okay? That you they can rely on you. You're dependable. You're mature. You're responsible. And you're divinely protected. You're in your north node. They better give up here. Yeah, give up the, the name calling. Give up the... Um, they have to let go of the third party or this group or coven or they got let go. They can't block you. They're angry. They were spreading egregious gossip about you, saying that you were homeless or changing your address or they stole a home or property or business. They said you were unstable. Oh, boy. 
They said you had codependency issues. This is a contract for a home. They're losing it. They're going to court. Wow, they stole this home. This bad news is backfire. Again, it's coming back. Unfinished business here. They made accusations about you that, that were unfounded. Okay, they somebody could have been attacked. You're trying to attack you for sure spiritually or attack the judge spiritually. They had a car accident. Oh, I get it. This is bad news. The judge. They lost, they're going to lose their business, their practice, whatever. It's coming back to bite them in the ass. They didn't protect you, stand up for you. They didn't protect or defend your honor or your interests. Oh boy. Instead, they tried to block you with games, with mind games, with um, magic, with gaslighting. They're all fighting here. Wow, you took the high road. They don't know what to do. They're all fighting right now. They're all under spiritual attack, I think. What goes around comes back around. You know what I'm saying? Their life is upside down. They want this to stop. It's not going to stop. Maybe they're begging God. Look at the devil and God right next to each other. Damn. Well, like I said, the light overrides the dark any time of day or night. So no spiritual or financial prosperity for you. No soup for you, okay? Parting with kar karmics, one-sided deal, false contracts, one-sided deal. Wanting to be you, wanting power of attorney, wanting to impersonate you, okay? Devalue you. This is karmic. It's toxic. It's gone. Bye, okay? Yep, you're, there's objectivity here. Somebody's very objective. They could come across as ice colder you are. But at the end of the day, you're not. You just know these people are no good. Yeah, they cause a lot of conflict in your world and other people's worlds as well. So this is your leader or somebody's heading this, this new judge, okay? The old judge is going to jail possibly and or they're going to jail. Somebody that the leader of this group or family. You are a leader. This person's taking the lead. Justice, congratulations. It was all about this inheritance, life insurance, uh, family money, pension. Winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. This is a happiness hater. Oh, why did they get this money? I win it, I win it. Well, because, because, okay? They were doing magic against you, against the courts, okay? Or anybody that was good, that wouldn't follow their their narrative. It was all about winning, but you came, you overcame, okay? You're at the top of this mountain. There was a lot of hardships, okay? This 19, that's the sun. Illumination. They're being exposed. You're going to be extremely happy, Okay? You overcame everything they threw your way. Success, victory, achievement. Congratulations. Okay, we'll end with the goddesses. What's the final message here, please, goddesses, for the collective? How would you like to end this? It's, it's a gorgeous read. I mean, it wasn't fun. It's not gorgeous what you went through. I get it. We're all here as a soul tribe. We can relate to these reads, right? So... Remember, let us know when your time has come and you've, you're successful. There's an ending to your, your waiting. Um, you, you know what I mean? Let us know. One of us wins. We all win. It gives us each hope, right? It's to give others the hope that are still waiting for their justice. And remember, and I'm not putting you down, you have to be in alignment for it, please. If there's certain people, if you are waiting for an inheritance or life insurance or something like that, and you know for sure you have the paperwork, that you are an heir, a beneficiary, and you know for sure something's not right. So I don't want you thinking, oh, well, Auntie Sue died 15 years ago. Yeah, I wonder if she left me anything, and you don't have any proof of that. And then you fight with your family, and you're causing rifts in your family. That's the last thing I want to do. Okay? Only if you know for sure. But, you know, it gives each and every one of us hope when one of us wins, okay? Ooh, Tiamat control. Somebody's trying to control something. But you're in control. They're trying to control the narrative. Yeah, through trickery. Ain't gonna work. Anara. They wanted control, so they did all this stuff. So, Arnami... Arnami... What is it? Arnamisha, integrity. Somebody had no integrity. So, bye bye. They're getting found out. They have no defense for what they've done. Aradia. Everybody knows the truth now. Pythia. Sekhmet. 
empowerment. You have been empowered. Or somebody that is empowered is going to take over here, okay? And they're never going to be free again. Sovereignty. The Morgan coercion. They tried to coerce another new judge. They had a lot of hubris. So they tried to tempt a new, a new judge to go their way like the last judge. How's that worked out? Say hello to Bubba in jail. <laughs> Remember, grab your ankles and say ah. <laughs> Don't worry, he's got a bar of soap. <laughs> Tia about control. Don't get swept away. You love everything to be how you want it to be and have tendencies to want to be in control, forgetting that this isn't always the way of the world. You have the best of intentions, but your need of power has to be relinquished. Tiamat swims through the primordi primordial seas of chaos to urge you to surrender, for she knows only all too well the catas catastrophic consequences control can bring. Allowing all to unfold naturally will ensure that any outcome will turn out in perfect order and more often than not better than anyone could have imagined. This means that instead of trying to dominate every situation to turn out your way, you can relax and enjoy the process, if you dare let go, that is. Being controlled by another, however, has been mo monstrous for you. Tiamat offers to assist you in this instance in regaining sovereignty in your life. Isn't that funny? We saw sovereignty. Uh, so draw your salty tears and allow your authority to finally surface an aura. Take that for whatever this is. I take that as somebody that's being controlled by somebody and doing this bullshit. Take back your power and tell the truth or else you're going to go down with the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? Someone who seems too good to be true is showering you with sweet compliments and the attention is all on you right now. A new person who appears to fit right in and a situation that is on offer could be what you've been dreaming of. It all feels exciting and new and seems like the answer to your prayers. However, the Hittite goddess of wild animals, Anara, asks you not to be drawn in by appearances alone. For she knows herself how to masquerade in the name of deception. This is how many survive by riding on the success of others. Be wary of those who suddenly seem keen to help or please you, especially if you don't know them well. Anara understands all too well how easy it is to use all manner of trickery to determine a desired result. Time to take stock of who's around you and whether or not you have been deceived by a wolf in sheep's clothing. So somebody was being deceived, deceived and or tempted and seduced. It's not on what's on the outside. You can't tell a person's, you know, true demeanor, uh, what kind of person, heart or soul they have by the outside appearance, okay? Like I said, take your time, get to know people. Arnimitra in reverse. Replace your critical thoughts with positive statements. Don't just accept the first offer. Use your integrity when making decisions. Speak in a loving and supporting way to yourself. You are your own worst critic. See beauty in everything around you. Spend time by a stream or a river. So go out into nature. Um, I'm picking up like the other thing too. If you're not coming into, if your manifestations are coming in, it's maybe because you're thinking negatively. That's what it makes me think of. So please pay attention to your thoughts and where they go and how you're thinking. A lot of us, me included, could be the ones slowing things down, okay, by the way we think. You've got to think positively. You've got to raise those vibrations and keep them vibrating high, okay? Watch what you see or watch what you watch, what you, what you intake, what you eat, uh, what goes in your body or who's around you. If you're constantly around negative people, they're bringing down your vibes. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're blocking you. That's what I meant. You need to be in alignment for your justice. Certain people can't come along with you. They, if there's money that's coming towards you, there's certain people that have no rights to take part of this money because they're just going to ruin it for you. And I'm sorry, I don't know who you are and who's in your life, but what if you have an adult child living with you and they're meant to go off on their own and make their own life? They're going to live off you for the rest of their days until you die if you have this money. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or they'll make you go through it quicker. I'm just giving you an example. I'm not saying it's a child. It could be anybody, a partner, a friend, a neighbor. Um, maybe you have addictions. It does not have to be drugs and alcohol. It could be anything that's preventing you from moving forward. Okay, maybe it's your health you have to concentrate on, okay, before you get this money. Anything like that. Maybe it's your home, maybe no shade, could be a hoarder. You got to get rid of shit. Because then you're just going to have more money to buy, buy stuff and, 
you know, not get rid of anything. Don't, like I say, the analogy, if you want to go shopping for new clothes, you have to go in your closet and make room for it. Get rid of the stuff you don't need or want. Okay? Let's end this with the angel numbers. Hey, 5434, what I looked up. So. How are we ending this, these angels? What's the final word on this one for the collective? Thank you. 0330, you're sending. So, lucky shirt. You might have a lucky charm somewhere, or you are the lucky charm. Love, peace, hope, and optimism, transferring responsibility to others. So they're hoping, they're doing magic. They want to take the responsibility off their, uh, the onus off of them for what they've done and said and put it on somebody else's shoulders. Progress and creativity. So whomever is listening to this, if you are in on this scheme, just know you might be the one that's going to be left holding the bag. So what are you going to do about it? I think you should go to the, the authorities right away. Clear your name. Okay? Pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people who you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spec spectrum of individuals. Seven, seven, seven. Good luck. They want to, they want to get into your energy. Okay? contentment prosperity abundance spiritual awakening divine intervention this message is most likely to reach you during the intense uncertainty you'll come out winning from everything that may come your way it's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share yet you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to others and 0550 that means change wow the eye candy so somebody thought they were so good looking that they tempted other people into this bullshit so intuition, inspired action, beauty, art, socializing, flow, potential romance. Get some fresh air or call some of your pals over. Take a look around you. There's so much natural beauty waiting to be discovered. Get out in nature. Ground yourself. Either you will soon become involved in an exciting new project or you will go out on a date. Put your charisma to use everywhere. Spread your charm around. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to get, I don't want nobody in my life. Okay, that's your problem. Okay, your, your prerogative, your problem, your choice. This is for people that do, okay? 1144. Sometimes I wonder, are you trying to convince me or yourselves? Because I see this all the time. I don't want them back. I don't want, I don't want nobody. I'm on my own. I'm good. I'm good every day. Are you trying to convince me or somebody else? Okay. I'm not putting you down, but you don't have to keep telling me. 1144. High vibes. Keep your vibes up, like I said. Divine intervention, prosperity, big ventures, faded events, faith, purpose, higher calling. Love or other happiness lurks just around the corner. It will be something much better than in your wildest dreams. A rare opportunity, an exciting encounter with like-minded people with exceed your expectations. Congratulations. 222, you're right on path. You're in alignment. Like I said, justice will be had for those in alignment. You must get into alignment. I'm not lying. Okay? And then right after that is drama alert. So somebody wants to come back into your energy for protection and or for gain. Be careful. Because if they know money's coming your way, they might send total strangers that you don't even know. So you've got to use your intuition and discernment at all times. Especially if you're coming into a large amount of money. Now, I don't want you being secluded and hermited and not living your life. You're meant to live your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whether it's with friends, colleagues, whatever. Or if you want a relationship. And if you don't, fine. That's good. I hear you. But you're not meant to sit at home hoarding this money, not living your life. This money is not meant for that. Who are you going to leave it to? Right? It's meant for you now. Somebody left you this money, whether it's a life insurance, whether it's an inheritance, or it's a big win. The divine wants you to live. Follow your heart and your dreams. I hope this helps. Until next time, take care.